technically in the water. I'm wearing a mangrove ghillie suit. The gate has been opened at the marina. And there's a freaking Barcelona behind me already at this time in the morning playing music, bro. What the hell is going on with this place, bro? What is this? Welcome to the chit show, my friends. Alfred Montaner. And uh, I'm going to do an early bird gets the worm edition. Kind of like what we did last time. Um, guys, this is when you hear the boom, blah, blah, because it's dark. And uh, I don't know. Stick around. We're going to go ahead and see some launches. Are you guys ready? Wait for it. These guys are, I, they, 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 they might be ladies. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, guys, ooh. what was that? Like I said, they might be ladies or they might be something else, but they're the first ones to be out on the water. I know it's dark, guys. It's dark, but this is the second. First boat, second boat to be out on the water. The early bird gets a worm. They... <laughs> I love this. It's really like I do have a ghillie suit on, dude. Watch this, watch this. They don't know, they don't know I'm here. It's so dark that they can't see me. My camera's doing pretty good. The mosquitoes are... I'm just gonna get, I'm not gonna give them a hard time. The sun should be coming out in about maybe five, six minutes that it starts peaking its rays. Oh my goodness. We got another, we got another push off. Wow, this is so serene. I mean, I, the only thing missing is Fred just ambushing me here in the middle of the night. Good old Fredster. The man's a monster. I did a video over there with, uh, Atlantic Marine and he saw that I was talking about him a little bit more because that wasn't under contract and he decided to disappear on me again. What's going on here? Oh my goodness, I'm getting everything. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We are just gonna wing it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly. Um, so, just so you guys know, um, back here, they'll open the gates I-45, 6 o'clock, more or less. I hope my camera is getting this as, as I see it. It looks pretty decent, <clears throat> I guess because they have their lights on. Oh, but I'm excited because you guys are, I'm going to actually do a long, long video, guys. L listen, we're going to talk a lot of chit while we're here. We'll see what happens, and I'll show you guys exactly what happens here at the boat run. Okay. Perfect example. Um, you see, that's the park already here in the morning. That's the park staff. we got 59 time already get off my lawn already an early bird get off my lawn wow this is early bird 59 time get off my lawn wow it's kind of cool being here at night look oh it's all lit up i love it i feel so it's a saturday morning guys it's a saturday morning I 
wonder how long this, this battery is going to last. Could you imagine we had people at Chicho Live at this time in the morning? To be honest with you, I actually sometimes go and drink my coffee. I'll actually be right there where that truck is parked and right behind Chicho Live. And I'll drink my coffee and I'll just watch the early morning launches sometimes. I just wake up early. I'm an, I'm an early bird. There we go. These guys are leaving. Um, I do got. I do have bad news for you guys. Last launches videos that uh, that I told you guys we were doing that when we were talking and doing. I told you guys I had a bum knee. Well, I got it checked out. Mm-hmm. Don't wait for it. Um, kind of, it kind of got me a little, it was like a sucker punch to the chest. And then they uppercutted me in the throat. So they say I have arthritis in my right knee. 45 years old with arthritis in my knee, bro. What the, is that? So yeah, um, you guys showed me the x-ray and I'm like, okay, this, that's a bone, that's a bone. Why are they touching each other? And he goes, well, son. I was like, oh no, he called me son. I'm that young. Damn, doctor called me son. And uh, he said, yeah, I got uh, arthritis. So I don't know, comment below if you have knee arthritis. But yeah, it sucks. Um, so there's a couple of options. I'm, I guess we're going to talk like a bunch of old people. You, why, why not, right? So they said that I can... He's like, look, you're too young for like a knee replacement, dude. Relax. And, uh, I, I know that if I actually lose some weight, more weight from 225, 6'5 and ripped, if I go to 185, it will hurt a lot less, right? Because gravity is in effect right now. Um, <clears throat> so he said, listen, we got to ma manage the pain. And then he, he talked to me about some gel or something like that, that they inject into your knee. Which I don't even like to drink Tylenol just because I have a headache. You know, I'm just one of those people. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to kind of figure it out. I'll let you guys know along the process of what I do. I did see a lot of you guys recommend some youtube channels and stuff like that and i appreciate that because i did i followed up on some of them <coughs> um one of them was like walk backwards on a treadmill that didn't work out too well for me i busted my ass but whatever <laughs> it's it's the thought that counts i'm i'm sending you a subpoena for a lawsuit whoever you were i'm gonna look back <laughs> No, no, it's just, yeah, hey, listen, I go down the YouTube rabbit hole, too. We're, we're not immune to it. So these guys are typically mostly Cuban, um, not Cuban, um, the fishermen that go out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. We might make this interesting, because you know who I call in the morning? Hold on, hold on. Wait for it. Wait, wait, watch. This is what really happens in the world, guys. In my world. Oh, no. He can't. He can't answer, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's tied up. He'll call me back, guys. That was, um, I was calling Fishman Joe, but right now he's probably got a, he's probably on the bow of his boat catching bait. He'll call me back. He's doing a, a restoration right now. Oh, look, what is, what's going on here? He's doing a, a little restoration of a little lobster fishing boat that he's trying to fix. And he's been, he's been live streaming it. A lot of you guys have been watching it. 
The good thing about Joe is he's consistent, right? He'll just continue like an hour here, an hour there every day, you know? And then you achieve the objective. Oh, no wonder, dude. I have my do not disturb on. Damn it. Look at this, look, 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 look. Hold on. I'm gonna show you that real quick, hold on. Let me, let me stay over here, but. But I, oh man, I wanted to show you guys the, the, the moon. The moon was kind of wicked yesterday. Over here. See somebody walking over here. Wow, we can time lapse this whole video, right? Let me see. Let's see what it says. It is approximately 6:17 in the morning over here at the boat ramp, guys. I'm trying to think if there's any events going on in the water that I don't know about. Maybe no, not really. Not really. Is this, is this one of those mornings that, uh, that we catch the bloop, bloop, bloop? All the bloop, bloop, bloops happen when we're not here, guys. Yo, is he there? No. Are you sure? He's not wearing a ghillie suit? No, he's not there. All right, put it in reverse. Get out. Start screaming. Ah! Hashtag, no more payments. I remember one time being here early in the morning like this and I'm here and all of a sudden the, the female croc passes me right through here and I'm like oh hell no and that's the one that actually was found dead, guys. I had nothing to do with it. I was actually in Dubai when it happened, so I have, an, I have, a, I have a solid alibi. Um, yeah, it was crazy how she would just pull up, you know, and, and, uh, and then she was under the mangroves one time, right, right here on this side, when I pan to my left, I'll show you guys now. And um, I don't know, she was very, very sneaky. Yeah, she, she, she did that in the morning. I was like, oh boy. Now we're gonna see how busy this marina gets. And when I tell you guys, look, she was right under there. You see this little area right here? I, all of a sudden I catch two eyes just looking at me. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Why is, and I, and I said, oh my goodness. She saw me, she stayed looking at me. I stayed here, I, I held my ground. But she was still looking at me. And then ever since that, I was like, wow, we gotta be careful with this croc. This, this one's a little bit sketchy. So he, here's what, I, maybe, who knows, maybe I can go to the other side um, and show you guys the parking. Because you know what? Um, the, the marina has actually done a lot um, between last year and now. They open up like a new area back there so that we could have more parking so that the marina doesn't close as fast. Which helps, especially when you want to be out on the water, right? Nothing sucks more than, oh man, I want to go be out on the water and everything is full. This summer is going to be crazy. I think, I think we got to discuss having another marina or more marinas in Miami, you know? Because obviously the the amounts of, of boaters outweigh the actual property that we have to, you know, alleviate those voter, uh, boaters. Oh boy, what's going on over here? So yeah, I know down over here they have like a little QR code and um, they're asking for people's opinion. Maybe, I, maybe I'll drop it 
here in this video if I end up going back that way. And then you can kind of could, could ask, you know, or give your opinion on what you think should be done. And wow, this is, this is a cool video for me. <clears throat> Night and day. Should we call it the, this video? Listen, it's gonna get a little wild and I would say in about an hour. We're gonna, guys, this is gonna be a long video. It's gonna start getting to the point where they're gonna be able to see me. Now the question is, does your marina get this busy, ever? There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Hey, you there? Yeah, dude. Alfred? You don't, you don't call you don't call people that are important in the morning, dude? What's listen, what's listen, listen. Time out, time listen. out, time out. Before you say okay. anything crazy, I'm recording. So, I'm recording. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm so glad. Hey, wait. but whatever, fuck it. Hey, no. I'm in the live shrimp game. I am not killing shrimp no more. Fuck that shit. No, no, don't oh, say bad words. Don't say bad words. Yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Good morning. How are we doing, Alfred? My guy. <laughs> so, wait, what you're a shrimp. Beautiful day, G. You were shrimping. Oh yeah, all night. All oh night. my God, Joe. How was all it? All night. Oh, fantastic. Dude, you know, a lot of people didn't see that shrimp and Joe uh, video that we did. No way. They, well, they better watch it. Yeah, they got to, bro. What's oh, up? We've cha I've changed it up. I want you to know when you come back on the boat, uh -huh. it's all live shrimp now. Okay, what, we keep it live. What, what do you mean it's all live shrimp? Hold on a second. What do you mean by that? It's all live shrimp. You want to smell? Oh, 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 you're talking about huh? live? You you're, smell? No, no, you're, yeah. ke you're keeping it live? Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah, 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 I'm keeping them live. You want it? Yeah, I'm keeping them live. No. So you're in yeah, the live shrimp live game? Shrimp. Oh. I am in the live shrimp game. Oh, my goodness. Fishman, yes. Joe. How, well, okay, so what did you put there to keep them alive? Oh, dude, I, I put the same tank. It's just, I, I freaking... You I aerated it? In, yeah, dude, I put a freaking gas power pump to that shit. Oh, my goodness, you're... Oh, it's so great. Oh, dude, hey, Alfred, so, later oh, when you're, record, you're not recording, we'll talk, and I'll, uh, I'll tell you everything that's going on. Hey, so, okay, so, so, so are you going to sell bait this morning or no? No. No. You're like no. F bait. Forget the bait. We bait. Fuck, fuck and, bait. Hey, no, don't, don't say bad words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. hey, was was there a lot of boats out there last night? I don't know. I, I hey look, bro. I keep my head down. I catch my shrimp. I go about my business. So fish man Joe is becoming shrimp nobody. shrimp man Joe. Oh yeah, for the next month or two. Oh. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't okay. call me for bait. Oh, well, call call me for live shrimp. Call me for live shrimp. <laughs> call me for shrimp. That's it. For the next month, uh, dude, I'll be shrimping day and night. If I can shrimp during the day, I'd be shrimping during the day. I'm gonna be nonstop around the clock shrimping. You know, I'm right now. I'm I'm filming the chicho and I'm doing a video that's a little bit different because I came here early in the morning to show what really happens. Yeah. And um. You know, I'm showing all the people that are coming in and out and all that crazy stuff. And I said, you know, let, I'm going to go. I said, let me show them what really happens. And I and one of the things that I do early in the morning, every now and then, I call you in the morning. We talk shit. Yeah. 
So, what's up with that little boat that you have? That little old installment of this old boat? Oh, I still, I still got a lot of work to do to that. I plan to, I think I'm going to work on it today. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to work on it today. Well, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Yeah, well, you got to shrimp later, dude. Oh, forget, hey, forget about the boat. Shrimp man, Joe, 24 7. Let's go. Yeah. No, yeah. Forget about the boat. Joe. No, uh, uh, oh, man. I want to see I that. Feel like I want to see that setup. And you put it in that big giant blue bin that we use for, for the. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm about to put a second tank on the boat. I'm about to put a second one on the boat because, oh, man, oh. You know, you know, Alfred, when one person's been eating at the food trough, right, and they're full, they've been pigging out, and there's enough for the next guy to eat, you know? Mm -hmm. How come they always get greedy and get mad? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Everybody eats with <sighs> Fishman Joe. Every Everybody's supposed to eat. Everybody, it, it, it's like I say, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to make a lot of money. As long as I'm making a little bit of money so I can survive, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to get rich. I'm just trying to make a living. You know, and I, I look at bait when I do bait. Did I, oh, I did grab the my hook. I hope, I, I hope. Like when I do bait, I look at it the same way, but the other guys that were out there before me are like, oh, I own this. He has no right, you know? And it's just, dude, as long as everybody makes a little bit of money, we're all surviving, we're all living, you know? Well, listen, I'm, and, I, I know that you guys have your own customers and you have the, the people that you you take care of. I'm sure you've already done your rounds this morning before you're going back home to your regulars, right? Because that's no, just... No. No, no, no. Not even nobody's today? Gonna, no, nobody's going to bait from Joe right now, bro. Oh, wow. Joe's it's all, a, hey, shrimp, hey, shrimp man Joe. Well, we're going to, yeah. listen, listen, I'm going to call you later after I finish this video. Call me later. Yeah. Call me later. All I'm right. going to go home and go to sleep. Well, I'm going to go home, wash my boat, then go home and go to sleep because my boat is trashed. But um, listen, we, we call got, me we, later. We, and the problem that I had that I was talking to you about before, mm -hmm. that's not going to be a problem no more. I, I'm definitely going to have the money to buy a brand new one. Nice. All right. Well, good. Good to hear that. All right. Well, listen, I'll talk to you later. So things right, don't buddy. get weird hey. over here while we're recording. <laughs> wait right, for right, it. Right. Fishman hey, Joe, guys. Hey, hey, thanks, Alfred. You have a great day. Hey, say, later, say, say something to the people that uh, watch my channel because, you know, a lot of them watch your channel, Yo, too. Buy a hat, dude. Oh, and, and I love that. Buy, buy a hat. hat. And I want you to know, I want you to know, Alfred, somebody gave me a, somebody gave me a hoodie after watching your video. That is I awesome. All right. So and listen, wore today. you wore it today. All right. All right, yeah, all right, bro. Yeah. Take care. Later. Later. That's Fishman Joe, guys. Fishman Joe out of Hallover Inlet. Um, yeah. He, um, well, listen, I'll, I'll just keep it like that. You, you guys heard what you heard, and you know? It's good. Uh, he's definitely hustling, and, uh, Look at this. This looks like glass. And that's what kind of happens, guys. That's what kind of happens. So I'll definitely do a follow-up video of the, of the light bait. Um, shrimp video if you guys didn't see that shrimp video I'm gonna try to link it to this one it's guys it's a beautiful video to watch um, I think that video in the tugboat series like the night video of the tugboat are just amazing videos only because it's the skyline of Miami is in the backdrop and it's it's amazing you know you're starting to see okay Look at this, look at this. Let me see if I can get this. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get it. Let's see if it, it, it pops up. You see that right there, guys? That is the reflection of the moon. Look at it here. This is, this is the first, guys. Um, And I'll tell you more or less, we're about 6.33 now. A 
low tide. Let me see if that little baby cuda that stares at me all day, if he comes around. Oh, look, look. That's the pescatarian. That's the pescatarian. All right, guys, listen up. Listen up and listen up closely. If you ever come down to Miami and you want to catch swordfish, that is the person who can put you on swordfish. He has a, a YouTube channel. His name is Pedro. It's called The Pescatarian. I definitely would tell you to, we'll get a report from him now. What, um, and maybe, maybe, it's, oh boy, it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. Maybe we can get a, and show you guys what they come back with, you know, if they're talking, oh boy. Somebody there alone? Oh, he's, he's doing this uh, by himself. Wait, nobody has the lines. Oh, he, oh, here's what he did. I've done that as well. You get a line, you just tie it to the pole. Go back and, uh, and you're good. This is wild. You know what's crazy? Is that the noceums were not bad until now. Right now, the no, no seam just came. I love seeing the reflection of the water like this. Isn't that super cool? It's just like it looks like glass, no ripples, nothing. That is the future, right there, guys. That's uh, Pedro's son, and uh, he's already a little beast, a little beast catching. Uh, Swordfish. And the thing with swordfish, I did a video with, with Captain Pedro too. Um, he put me on six swordfish that day. And um, if you see that I don't put like a link to those videos, guys, always just kind of like Alfred swordfish, Alfred Montaner swordfish, you know what I'm saying? And then it should pop up because I use those keywords so you guys can find my stuff. Like Alfred Montaner tugboat series. Alfred Montaner dinghy series. Just use my name as, oh boy, what happened here? What happened? Oh no, oh no, wait for it. He's on another solo launch. We got some people already starting to come. Remember, it's not even 6.45 uh, yet. Look, he started the uh, pescatarian. What is that humming noise? Havana syndrome is over here at uh, Blackboard. Was that even a was that really a real thing or what? Oh shit! You effer! Something just shitted on me, man. I don't, what the? You son of a! Oh man, hold on a second, bro. Oh man, thank goodness I have a hoodie on, bro. Thank goodness I have a hoodie. Oh yes, it's confirmed, bro. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. I got, hold on a second, dude. This is terrible. I can't believe, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me put it over here at Pescatarian. Damn it, I gotta go. Cause I just touched it with my, with my hand. It's on my neck, bro. I have a hoodie on though, hold on. See what I have to deal with, guys? And you guys don't even buy a hat. Damn it. All right, we're good. Oh boy. There was a day that we were filming and a little kid slipped at the boat ramp. And while I was slipping, while he slipped, I said, the struggle is real. And in the front of the shot, the crocodile just crosses in front of the kid. And I'm like, oh my goodness, get the kid out of there. I said it in Spanish. Um, uh, 
Uh, the things I see at this boat ramp are crazy, guys. You see, see back there now how all the all the boats are just starting to come. Seals, T-tops. And now you know what really happens at the boat ramp, right? Don't worry, we got so we still got some guys. We got some battery. We're good. We got plenty of battery. You know, um, there's. There's a point, right, where um, Joe does live streams and then sometimes things get wild and crazy and he just takes them off. And I tell them, well, you should do a, if you're there, you're there, you know what I'm saying, a series. Because if you're there, you're there. If you're there, you get to experience it. And if you're not, and what I always tell you, not with just my channel, but all the creators that you like to have, subscribe and put your notifications on the little bell and then you'll be able to get the latest stuff that they're dropping okay Pedro's about to leave Pedro just so you know from the pescatarian he takes a notebook. Watch, look, 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 look. He takes a notebook with him. Look at this. And he documents everything. The wind was blowing this much, overcast, da da da. And he has all that, the date, so that if he's going to do a charter or something on the same date with the same conditions, he can have an idea of where he was and what happened. You know? In my mind, I was like, Bro, how are you going to compete with that? Like, I just want to go fishing, bro. I don't want to overthink this thing. Let's see what it says. The pescatarian. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. You guys gotta check out his channel. Hey! I think we do be here. The, the early bird gets the worm. Hey. I figured you would be here. I saw you leave. Oh, yeah! You, you My son was like, oh, there goes Alfred. Oh. And I said, oh, he's going, he's going to Black Boy. Well, since you're my neighbor now, you can't tell people where you live. Yeah, I know. Because you're going to dox my location. <laughs> what's, the, what's the plan today, Pedro? Where are you guys going to go? We're going to go uh, fishing, and uh, we're going to pull our traps down in the morning. Uh, stone crab? Stone crab and blue crab. And blue crab. Oh, you're doing blue crab too? Yeah. Oh, man, I love those videos, guys. you got to check out. What's your channel again? Uh, at Pescatarian Fishing. On YouTube, and then you have your, also your Instagram. Yeah. No sword fishing today? What are you guys going to target? Mutton? Mutton, yeah. All right, so listen. I might be still here when you come back. You're going to come back, what, four, three? Yeah, I got to come back at a pretty decent time because we just had the baby. So I left mama at home with the baby. Congrats. So thank you. All right. Um, you got a, a mate there. I saw him turning on the the motor, getting everything ready. Yeah. How much are you paying in a, a, an hour? He's volunteer work. He's volunteer work? A boat ride. <laughs> the boat, the best boat cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to go fishing, we gotta clean the boat. <laughs> hey. All right. Well, listen. We'll be here. All right, we'll see you in the pescatarian guys, and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show. Look, I'm gonna zoom in on, on your name, guys, so you can see how pescatarian is. is. There it is. Pescatarian. And you saw the shirt that he's wearing. That's that's one of the shirts that he offers on his website. Um, he has his own merch. That is awesome, dude. I hope my mic picks up on a lot of these conversations.
Isn't that awesome? All right, let me give you guys, since we've been, since we've been, since we've been doing this, look at, look at the sun is starting to light up the clouds. And just like that, boom. No wonder. So yes, um, Pedro is my neighbor. And um, one of my neighbors, I, I mean, I have fantastic neighbors. And um, I really do, I'm so blessed. My neighbors are great. I know, I know, I would hate to be in a scenario where, hold on, hold on, let's see what's going on here. I would hate to be in a scenario where your neighbor sucks. Wow, that sucks. That's, ugh. Neighbor wars ain't no good. Comment below if you have a, a shady neighbor. You know what's crazy? A good percentage of you guys right now are in the chitter right now, just trying to push really hard. <coughs> Ass just clenched up, didn't it? <laughs> I, re I remember <laughs> my kids would be in the bathroom and I'd just tap the door. Psh! Hey, Dad! Psh! Dad! I don't know. I just my dad used to bother the shit out of me, so I guess I passed on the tradition. So going back to my niece in that scenario, right now, since I'm standing on rocks. All right, so let me give you guys a backdrop. Right, one day, maybe I got to do a kind of like a video of me working. Since I'm, since I'm on the rocks, depending on the tide, sometimes I have to step on a rock or move on. You know, if a boat comes by fast, if I don't want to wet my shoes, you know, you can't wear Crocs over here. Um, and I'll tell you why, right? Because there are rocks and there's algae on the rocks. And then if you slip, leave me alone. If you slip on the rocks, you're going to cut your feet. Um, so you have to wear regular shoes. You can't wear crocs in the water or anything like that because like i said you're, you'll slip because you're moving around you're going left right you're panning the camera doing all that crazy stuff and then all of a sudden boom what's this guy doing so yeah you'll you'll cut your and it happened to me at one point i was here in the very beginning when i started doing chit show 2020 actually i was here and i was like Oh, look at this, boom. and I ran down, boom, and sure enough, my, my crock slid to the side and I, and, I, and I sliced the side of my foot. Nothing crazy, you know? Nothing crazy, but I realized real quick, I was like, hey, look, no more, no more crocs while I'm out here. This is shoe game. My wife gets upset at me because I go home with wet feet and my, my feet will smell, you know? But yeah. Don't wake me out, guys. Don't wake me out. I don't want to wear my feet when we're over here. Somebody said over there in the backdrop, that's it. That, that little boat right there. And I think there's a little minivan that pulled it in. Was it a minivan? Yeah. It looks like a minivan. Yeah. The early bird gets the worm.
more and more trucks are starting to come in with their boats. You hear the birds back here? It's it's really pretty pretty over here, guys. So if you ever come to Biscayne Bay, let me see. Hold on. You hear that? So if you ever come over here, um, definitely would recommend to take a walk to the end, especially if it's the sun is rising. It's really really pretty once that sun rises. Very very. I have a couple of videos on my channel showing it prior to them fixing the walkway back there. Uh oh, we got somebody at 10. We gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Oh boy, he's gonna jackknife that thing. He doesn't have a good turn there. It's gonna be on that. Uh... There he is. He's on the grass. But he committed. He went. He went pretty aggressive to the other side. He's committed again. He's adjusting again. He, de he definitely knows what he's doing, but you want to always back in as straight as you can. Crane plug time. Okay, so he's unhooking the trailer. Procedure. Now, if you had um, a trailer that was a roll-on and you unhook it at that elevation like that, you're literally, your boat will just fall right there at the boat ramp so be careful with that he's getting his lines smart is, is he with somebody okay it looks like he has a drain plug on so he's good on that aspect no water came out of that the boat ramp is starting to light up my friends You see the parking, what I was telling you? People will just park there. I got my eye on that uh, boat, but they're still, they're still not doing anything else. These guys just cranked up that uh, Suzuki. Oh look, we got we do have we have a chicho live early bird. Wow, that's not seen every day. I haven't talked to Captain Abel. I gotta talk to Captain Abel because I think soon he has to do the pickup of all the traps. I don't know if it was lobster or stone crab, but he did tell me that he has to have them out of the water, a water by a certain date. So I kind of want to film the process. We should have the bikers coming soon. There's a bunch of bikers that typically come in the morning. Oh, look, look, there's one right there. Speaking, speaking, oh boy, this guy's going to hit the dock. Wait for it. Oh boy. Does he, does he, does he take it out? Oh man, he, oh, oh, he's still, oh no, damn it, damn it, we had it too. Speaking of biker, look, there's one right there. He's got it. What, what happened to the lines? Who's got the lines? Nobody's got the lines anymore? Oh yeah, the guy has the line in the front.
Did he not unhook it? No, I don't think he did. I thought he he unhooked it prior. Maybe I was talking chip. Dímelo, caballero. Ten buen día. Kind of covered up because of no CMs. I don't know who's really here. Guys, when you come over here to the boat ramp, look for somebody 6'5, 225, and ripped. For sure, wearing a chicho hat. 100%. Speaking of Chicho hats, you guys are like destroying, destroying that orange trucker hat that has uh, Black Point and Fred on it. Wow, you guys really um, like that hat. And um, it's cool. I mean, everywhere. I've shipped it everywhere, dude. It's actually the one I'm wearing right now. Guy gonna finally come back or what? Oh boy, we got some music already. Like on the way out now, they're on the way out. So, and um, early bird. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh no, the music got louder. It is not. That's not as. That's not what I want. I don't want no music up in here, guys. Oh yeah. So let me go ahead and not uh, talk over that real quick. Oh boy, look at this guy. This guy's coming in hot. Wow. Damn. Wait for it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, there's a guy. There's somebody in the water. Wait, 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 wait. Like, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, ooh. What the? Some, did something hit that thing in the... No, I think so. Damn it, we missed. We missed this here. All right. Damn it. That music. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, that's how you launch a boat, right? Look at that. Boom. You have a buddy. And uh, wow, and they steal the very single last parking for the win. Already? Hey, bro, I went to the shop. I went to the shop. I did. Ask, ask Frank, ask Frank, watch. No, you were off. Yeah, you were off. You were probably fishing. No way, bro. Watch. Ask Frank. Look. Uh, bro, 100%. I went to the shop. No way. Well, they, if, you, if you earn it again, last time I have to post that video of you docking. I have to. <laughs> hey, I'll hit you up this week. I would. Who? Royal, this man was inebriated the other day and I caught him on a chicho. No, he was he was too drunk. No, no. No, 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 no. I've seen worse. I've seen worse too, but that doesn't mean that it did it. It wasn't bad. <laughs> hey, so what are you are you going out again today or just chilling? This guy. <laughs> how's it, how's it going, bro? Good man, I'm getting an early morning chicho. Hey, hey. I love it, bro. I love it. I'm gonna see you this week. Okay. Stop by, bro. I will, definitely. I got that hat for you. Alright, bro. Yes, guys, he he I just did an MIA hat. I don't know, you probably saw it. I, I'll put I, the other video should, I don't know if I posted the other video yet, but I did get them on a chit show. And um, a lot of my, my stuff, I'll either po post it in my stories on YouTube or for sure my Instagram, which is luxury rib tenders. And you guys see that like the latest 
like I just like dropped a lot of denim hats for ladies, which are kind of cool. But um, he likes this new MIA um, hat that I'm gonna start pushing down here in Miami. So, and it's cool. It's uh, it's a cool uh, it's a cool hat. I, I really I really like that actually. He, he really liked it too, so I'm, I'm gonna get him one. And he, um, that gentleman, so you have an idea, he works with the place that makes the bimini blocks that I sell for rib boats. And while I was there, I was discussing with the owner, um, some of the alternatives that we can do to make and speed up the process because the guys are doing a lot of like really really high-end stuff mostly for like corvettes and airplanes and stuff and then along the way you know so so we're discussing some changes that we might do for those so we can get them readily available and so that's in the works and i know some of you guys really really want those for your dinghies and essentially what i'm talking about there's they're bimini blocks that'll sit on an inflatable tube and uh, it allows you to put a bimini top on those brackets so it doesn't have to touch your tubes. So when it bounces up and down, it won't damage your Hypalon tubes or your PVC tubes. But yeah, he, that man right there can paint like you haven't, he's sick. Everything, everything, he can prep, he, I mean, those guys are, are monsters when it comes to that stuff. And I, I'm surprised that he didn't know that I was I actually went to his shop. I went with the, the express purpose to show him and give him that hat. Is this guy fishing right here? You see how all the flats guys they're always the first ones to leave. And they're the first ones to come back too. I wanted to make it a point to make this video unedited so you guys can see what really happens here in the mornings. It is kind of cool though, let me tell you. I can be here and just chill. We have the Palm Beach Boat Show coming up. I mean, obviously when you're watching this, is, it could be a different time, but I have the Palm Beach Show that I want to attend. And um, since we did a lot of full walkthroughs of the entire Miami show and we couldn't do dedicated videos, I think we're going to do a lot of dedicated videos at the Palm Beach Show. I, I really hope that that Buddy Davis boat is over there. Um, I missed that boat. I really wanted to do a walkthrough on that boat. Beautiful Buddy Davis that was at the Miami show. Tidewater. Little Maverick. Back here, you have the park see those those are the gentlemen who will open the gates and um open the gates or close the gates here at the ramp what do we got what time do we got do we have is it already like an hour 
Man, this battery's doing pretty good. It's 7.5, 7 7.05. I think when this place really gets lit is around like 8.30. And that's when it just closes. At that point it gets, okay, so look. I mean, I wasn't really focused on it, but I guess we can go to the front of the video. But these are single axis, single, single uh, axle trailer parking. So if your trailer has single axle and you're an early bird, that's the spot. You want to park right there. See that? And then you, ha you have, you know, three handicap. And then there's another handicap on the corner on that side. So you have a total of four handicap. Sun Tex is still not open. I don't know if they open at eight, but Freedom Boat Club has their boats. Is I wonder if this Pursuit is a Freedom Boat Club, but I don't know. I know that these right here are for sure. So if you're a Freedom Boat Club member, and I have no affiliation with them guys, I'm just telling you what, these are some of the boats they have available. And throughout the, the day, you'll see them. Pedro from the Pescatarian, right about now, should be crossing Caesars Creek. Just in my estimating, right? Maybe he already passed a little while ago. But yes, Caesars Creek is an area to, assuming he went that way, but maybe not. Maybe he's going to go get his blue, uh, blue, blue crab traps and we you know we talked to captain pete from pete seafood the other days maybe we go, we'll do a video with him to do blue crab um and show how that process is my dad used to love that um there was a fish market in opalaka that my daddy would go to i remember he would take me with me and i was a little kid i was like maybe eight nine and i hated going in there because it smelled like fish like really really strong fish place right but um he would get like 20 of them and um so much so that in that area there's a place that does fried blue crab which is interesting i i had it um there's so many different and in, in annapolis also that was another place that i did an awesome video at the Annapolis Boat Show and I went to a crab place. I forgot the name of it guys, but it's on my channel. It, it was really, really cool to see the procedure of how they would uh, catch and I didn't show the how they caught it, but I did show like the, the way that they process it there and you eat them and it was a cool video for me, like really, really cool. Let me see what the weather is going to look like today. So I'll tell you guys real quick. All right. Um, I'm opening my weather bug up. What do we got? What do we got? We have mostly sunny. Highs 85. Lows 64. Which was probably some time last night. So that the 64 was at night. And actually, that's a really cool there must be a cold front happening in canada pushed down to us or something because normally it's not that cold not at this time of year and then tomorrow will be sunny 71 degrees is the low 85 is the high monday would be 87 the high 70 and uh we got spring break and one of the reasons why i want to come over here and do these early birds because i'm actually gonna get out of here once i finish and um I'm going to have somebody film the rest of the day 
and I'm going to go film spring break either in Fort Lauderdale or in South Beach. So I definitely want to start doing some walking tours even though I have my bum knee. I'm going to, maybe it'll help if I lose 20 pounds. I mean, I, I won't be shredded anymore, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not easy being a sex symbol. It's really not. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just normalize myself. And, I know, I know it's hard. It's hard to be me. But I'll tell you what, the doctor get, got it when he said, he goes, yeah, I know your, I know your situation. You're frustrated, right? And I go, yeah. He goes, because you want to work out and you can't because your knee is bummed. I was like, yeah. And then he said, sorry, man. There's nothing I can do. Oh, no, no, no. Nah, he, like I said, he, he recommended the gels and all that stuff. And, and I'll do my part. I'll start walking backwards on the treadmill and use a sled and walk backwards and I don't know listen a, a, a lot has to do with also the, the leg strength around with your quads and everything around your um, knee right and the fact that I'm compensating that's why the other one gets hurt but the other one didn't have arthritis which was nice to see that that I only have one bum knee but yeah I'll keep you guys updated about the gel I wonder if it's LA looks. I mean, which which gel? I use hair gel every day, guys. But not lately, because I've been wearing chicho hats a lot. All right, so that's it. These guys are about to leave. Oh man, look, there's so many. I think these people forgot the key. All right, so somebody had told me that they do have a service of opening your car at marinas i mean they, they 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 they're like a locksmith but he says that he opens cars at marinas all the time because people leave their keys inside their truck and then they can't get on the water which is crazy, you know, when you really think about it, but it, but it happens. Imagine, um, <laughs> I've seen people drop their keys at the boat ramp. And while that's happening, I'm like, oh boy. Oh, look, 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 there's mullet here, dude. There's a bunch of mullet. Yo, there's a bunch of finger mullet. You're a little early, bro. The early bird gets the worm. How much is gonna happen right now? Hey, there's mullet here, dude. Mullet? What? Yeah, there's mullet. A lot. Hey, catch some fish. Show me something when you guys get back. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, hold on. You guys see that? Let me see. I don't know, man. I got to get a polarizer. No, nah, you barely can see them on camera. You know what I got to do? I got to come out here one day and bring a little GoPro and just show you guys what happens right there. Interesting, that, that means that the mullet are gonna, did the mullet run? When is the mullet run? It's coming up. I actually, Fishman Joe, we did some pretty cool videos of the mullet run that one time out of Hollower. It's a cool video too. The one who has really crazy footage uh, of the mullet run is Black Tip H. And um, I was looking at his follow up. He had some major surgery, guys. He's, he's battling cancer hardcore. And. Um, his brother Jake and the team over there at Black Tape H are holding it down. And um, he's battling, let me tell you something, he's battling like a warrior, straight up. You know, you could tell he's, he's, he's full of faith. Because let me tell you something, when you get into those trying situations and you see somebody that's just like, I'm not giving up no matter what, I mean, he's, he's in the fight. And, and when you see that on the other side, 
it's pretty powerful to see that, you know, when somebody's so grounded in their faith, and, and he's, he's going to get out of it. And it looks like he's already starting to get better. It's going to take him a couple months to get better. But um, uh, an amazing fishing channel. If you haven't seen it, Black Tip H. It's got a lot of crazy content when it comes to fishing. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll go grab him coming out over here one day. Um, See how he's pulling the line back? He's pulling it up so it doesn't push into the pole. That's that's what he's doing. That's why he did that. What happens sometimes people will go ahead and they just wrap it around the pole and the, the back of the boat will hit the pole. And then all of a sudden you got a big old scratch or nice little gel coat repair you're gonna have to do it at some point. All right, these people, I think they lost their keys or left their keys or something, dude. This doesn't make sense. They've been here a long, long time. I mean, let's look back at the video. I mean, they've been here for a minute. Somebody busted their ass back there? Yep, that's what it was. The guy in the orange busted his ass. Look, and the guys at Chicho Live were like, love it. That's what happens when you come over here in flip-flops. I think he's wearing flip-flops. Oh, no, no, he's wearing some sneakers. Bro, did you just bust your ass over there? I want my fucking shoes. I want my shoes being a good guy. I got it all on film. Do you believe that shit? <laughs> I want my fucking I want my shoes, bro. That's your for your problem. <laughs> <sighs> I knew it. Hey, they wear my feet every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, hey, you know what? I'm going to the cleaners. You're going to the cleaners? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh boy, look at this monster! Oh wait, no, no, not this one, guys. Look at this. Look at this thing. I didn't know it was him that busted his ass. It's kind of far, guys. I don't have my zoom zoom lens, but um, hold on, hold on. Look at that monster coming in. Oof, that's a big boy. We still haven't seen the bikers. I think in about 15 more minutes, we'll probably see the bikers coming through. Big shout out to my camera for not turning off. 
4K amazingness here at the boat ramp. All right, now while we get this guy coming in, I want to see this. Dile Chicho Ago, Roy! Dile Chicho Ago! Van a ir a pescar. Gracias, man. Thank you. Oye, van a pescar o joder? Ya empezaron. Ya empezaron la jodera. Oh my goodness, look at this. What? Hold on, hold on. That is a monster. Wow, that is a big boat. Let me tell you something. That's a big boat and it looks like a little truck for such a big boat. Is it a 250? Looks like a Ford. Comment below, guys. And these people are bringing this one back now. Oh boy, that's a lot of weight. Low tide. Low tide is here. Let me tell you, I'm pleasantly surprised that we haven't had monstrous music most of this morning, this entire morning. There's always that one person that always Fs it up. But you know what? The people are, are getting that boat ramp etiquette better. Oh boy, she pulled a little bit. Boom. Doesn't matter. It's okay. He's trying to save it. He got it. He got it. See? Sometimes people make mistakes, they want to prevent that hit and then they don't put the car or the truck in, in park and they leave it in neutral and then bloop, 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 bloop. So. Speaking of that, you guys, you guys can't get wind of everything. Remember that escala escalated that the guy with the work trucks was trying to have an argument well, in that video, if you look at that video, he gets out of the car. And the truck, his van, starts coming back because he didn't put it in park. So I don't know, and I, I was oblivious to it because I'm looking at a little screen. But I don't know if he had to run back because I panned away, if he had to run back and save the, the actual boat, the truck, from going bloop, 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 or if there was a passenger that got in the and uh, that was interesting that was an argument about to be a huge problem and also yesterday <laughs> yesterday was another video that was a huge chit show but um we had left and um we got the tail end of it because because here's the thing right the end the day happens and this is just how it is right all of a sudden you pick up everything you put everything away and then now the craziest things start happening at the boat ramp as soon as you're leaving. Boom. So, you, you know, you can't pick when something happens, right? So, so we just pulled out the camera and, um, and started filming by hand without the tripod, with anything, and got like the tail end of the whole drama. But yes, later in the day, it gets a little wild because people come in a little bit more juicy, let's just say. And, um, The launches, guys, these are the launches. Um, I'm curious to talk, I'll be honest with you, I'm curious to talk to Fishman Joe off camera. Definitely wanna see what he's gonna talk about. But I, I know he was, he was a little worried about his engine. Um, So hearing that he's going to fix that scenario, that's going to be good.
to ask them if they finished those docks over there, repairing that docks over there at Hallover. Hallover has been doing a massive um, renovation over there at at Hallover um, Park. It gets really flooded over there too. I, I wonder if that's in the cards to fix that. Matheson Hammocks also, which is um, the closest, well, if you go f further north, Matheson Hammocks is the next boat ramp that's north of us. And then you have Bayfront or Herbert Hoover, right? Depending on what you want to call it. Look at this big boy. Hey, do me a favor, comment below if you were able to watch the entire video. Um, so, we're going to do something. The first person who I see on my comment section to put the number 50 is going to get a free hat. Okay, so because you've listened and watched the entire video, go real quick right now, stop what you're doing, go to the comment section and go type in number 50. Once I see, oh boy. Once I see that um, that number's there, I will send you a free hat. Obviously you're gonna have to email me your information at luxuryribtenders at gmail.com. And then I'll send you, you have to put the number 50. The first 50, it's not, guys, if, if it's, there's 50 50s on the comment section, I'm gonna look at which one was the first one that I saw, okay? So, there you go. And that is my way of thanking you for watching the entire video. A lot of people scrub to the video and they just like, understandably, I get it. They wanna see where all the craziness happens. But now I'll give you guys a little incentive to watch. This is a, it's a nice looking boat too. Um, so, so what are they playing? Is somebody playing some music right there? Uh, <laughs> that crunch the other day that I put on the no commentary video, a lot of you guys didn't see it because I put the video up late. There was a crunch and, and uh, there was some like opera music in the background and it was hilarious just to see the crunch and then you hear the opera music in the background oh boy the mercury is in the house and it's leaving should be an awesome day look at the wind don't worry guys we're not going to the flag yet but look at the wind it's picking up a little bit gonna be I think two to four is what um, is what they're forecasting two to four so uh, I was gonna I was oh that that's what it is well it's this guy here right this is the guy who's talking about who's got that music on um, so leave me what's going on man what are you guys doing yeah, you guys are gonna go out now? I'm, I'm just trying to create conversation so he can lower that radio. <laughs> and then he's gonna be like, no. Oh boy. Yes, yeah, so no, 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 no. I don't want music in my audio because that'll be terrible to say the least. Oh, and he's just, he's just going slow. And uh, he doesn't know that I'm trying to just talk over his music. All right, all right, all right, that's good. I think we're good. We're safe now, guys. We're safe. Um, yeah, so speakers that come directly to me, those are bro. Especially when you're trying to do a non-edited video, right? I don't want to edit this. I want you guys to see exactly what happens when it happens, how it happens. You guys are literally 
here at the boat ramp with me. Just observing and being nosy. Meanwhile, these guys are still here. This is where the party's at. Are they here because they're here or are they here because they're waiting on somebody or they lost the keys? What's, what's the story? All right, these guys are about to leave. Mañana voy a postulo. Eh, primero el alcalde y después el presidente. Primero el presidente de la asociación de donde vivo, porque me están jodiendo. I said, he said, you running for president? And I was like, no, mayor first. And I go, no, no, before mayor, I got to run for president of my association because they're giving me a hard time. And uh, those HOAs, guys, they get you all the time. Damn it. There's a tree clipping four centimeters on our sidewalk. They want to proceed with this. Nah, nah, I'm, I give them a hard time. But no, no, they're, they're, they're doing much better over there where I live, guys. But yeah, I mean, some people won't purchase a property now. I mean, I, now that I'm, my wife is a realtor, she's like tells me all these things that people like and dislike and don't want and want. Now it's like realtor talk. When I uh, have a conversation with her, she's like, she's super excited about it. She's, she's making moves, doing that. That's nice. It's good to see her. Um, doing all that and let me tell you the housing market is still kind of hot over here you guys are probably slow in other parts of the country real uh, real estate wise but over here they're building like crazy because a lot of people have moved to South Florida and honestly it's actually getting stupid expensive you know it really is like some things are like oh dude that's how much for that or this or that so, I don't know. But you know, the good thing about markets, right? Things go up, things go down, eventually, you know, eventually um, you end up getting a home at the price point you can afford. And yes, but there is a lot of new people coming to Florida. And why not? I mean, the weather's always perfect. You don't have to worry about snow gear ever, 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 ever. Nothing snow related you have to worry about here in South Florida, guys. Now, every now and then you might have a category five hurricane, which, you know, basically makes you get new landscaping and maybe a new roof sometimes. Depends how crazy it is. But if you can withstand that, I mean, you don't have to worry about your house shaking in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. You know, if there is a hurricane, you know, a couple days in advance, you take a quick vacation. Then where you go to a vacation, if it's anywhere in Florida, the hurricane will follow you there like it has done millions of times. Gonna go fishing? I see my flying <laughs> Let's see, man. Okay, so these two strokes are all over the Caribbean. Oh, we got a chicho. We got a, oh, oh, we got it on camera. 
and that's not an inflatable guys that's a fake inflatable that's a hard plastic boat that pretends it's a rigid inflatable all it needs is a little drill and bloop 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 like another like all the other boats at least with the inflatables guys they have different chambers you lose one chamber you have the other four or three depending on how many and more boats continue to enter Oh, the startup. And we still stay and wait. All right, listen, let me give you a point or a tip. If you have somebody in the house, if you drop an Uber pin to the house and you tell the Uber driver, hey, listen, I am not gonna be in the boat, uh, in the car. I just need to deliver a set of keys that I left at home. And they're, they're not gonna care. You know, they're not gonna care. They're 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 getting an easy ride. They put on whatever music they were listening to the whole time. They don't have to worry about accommodating you or you being weird. So yeah, I've done that tons of times that I forgot something. I just drop an Uber pin to the location and boom. Talk to the driver and say, hey, listen, I just wanna give you a heads up. I'm not gonna be in the car. Can you just bring me the keys? I left my keys and I'm locked in or locked out. Some of you are like, what's an Uber? Oh, it's a long story then. A very long story. Don't, 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 don't. Who's got the music, bro? Who's got the music? Formula. Oh, okay, so uh, it's, it's these guys right here. Don't tell me they're gonna go ahead and kill the whole video, bro. Don't tell me. Oh, look, we got a Mako. No, yeah, it's a Mako. Um, do, are we really gonna get, um, I hope not. I hope we don't get music killed. We got two, yeah, they're, um, let's see. And just like that, you see how the program just lights up, guys? Isn't that awesome? All right, here's the, uh, the boat here. 
let me see. All right, um, leave me alone. Go along. All right, so let's see this. Um, but before, but I gotta kind of speak over it, guys, because they are playing some music. Not terribly loud. Oh boy, hold on a second, hold on. Wait, what do we got over here? Do we got a okay train plug scenario going on? Yeah, I think we do. But um, these guys are about to get out of here. As soon as they get out of here, we can just kind of chill again because, like I said, the, the music is the. Uh, but um. What do you guys think? Comment below. Tell me what you guys think about that boat. Yay or nay? Morning. Morning. All right, all right. Um, $400. What do you guys think? Comment below, guys. Comment below. Let me know. Oh, man. We got some other big boys coming in now. Wow, look at this. Some big, big boats. That's a contender back there. These guys are coming in. Hey, um, I've been noticing, if you, if you guys have been noticing, a lot of the trailer lights have been out. Guys, they can stop you for that and you can get a ticket. So my suggestion is to fix it. And if you're here locally, um, there's two people I always recommend. Unlimited Trailer Repair or Freddy's Trailer Rescue. All right, so look them up. Unlimited Trailer Repair or Freddy's Trailer Rescue. Both of those guys will, will help you out with uh, everything that has to be um, fixed in your trailer. And they're mobile, so. These guys just dropped. You saw that, guys? And now, now here's the thing, right? You see, we've we've put like a just a little bit over an hour here doing these videos. Imagine being here all day, all day, all day. That's what it takes to produce a, a real good chicho video. So when you see all that craziness that happens, that's what happens. Hey, what's up, Alfred? <laughs> what's going on, man? Much, man? Gonna target some fish today or what? Hopefully, there's, last week was rough, dude. There's mullet here everywhere around these edges. Yeah? So there's gotta be snook along the whole edges. Yeah, look, last week I saw a ton of snook. They followed. Uh, but no commitments. But what are you using as bait? Artificials. You know what? If you can, if you can get your hand on a finger mullet, dude. Yeah, I'm trying not to go live right now. I'm just trying to do artificials right now. So you just like the artificial game? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fishing. That's I like. Do both. I do both, but right now I'm just more into artificials at the moment. So where are you going? What areas? Uh, about half a mile down. There's a little mangrove entrance, like a channel. Okay. There's a bunch of mangroves. A lot of snook. Uh, a lot of, of snook and then trout out in the grass beds uh, and a lot of coodles. Have you gone to Moody Canal? Moody Canal? I have. There's a lot of big snook in there. I have, I have. You know, I went down to, to that area that you uh, went in your dinghy series. Oh. That was by the old FPNL. Yes. I caught, a, I caught a nice slot snook there, dude, like about a month ago. Dude, that place, I, I, I had never like fished that area. But looking at everything, I was like, dude, that so, thing was loaded. So, as soon as I saw your video, I was like, bro, next week I'm going. Loaded, yes. Yeah, it was bad. It was really cool. I'm going to be on the dinghy soon. Good, man. I like those. I love those videos. Yeah, yeah. We got some, some dinghy series coming soon. Hey, uh, have a good day. If you, if you catch anything, show us later. Will do, man. All right, guys. Pedal kayak, guys. 
like I tell you guys, whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get out on the water. All right, um, I'm gonna have to take a quick pause because I have to change this battery, but we're gonna continue, guys. We're gonna continue because I wanna show you guys this whole morning. And just like that, we continue and really nothing happened other than um, we're going to get the last few early birds. Where we, what time do we have here? It's 745, my friends. And, um, you guys have seen what happens here at the boat ramp. Um, I'd love to know the whole story about why these guys are still here. MIA, no! I got you, bro, I got you! I got you, I got you! I got you, bro! <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, um, a lot of you guys have been asking me, um, Raul from Dance of Steel, who comes out on the kayak. Um, I gotta give his. I gotta give his info. I'm, I'm, I gotta see if I can put in the description. Okay, Freedom Boat Club just got here. So Freedom Boat Club for the win. The early bird gets the worm. They're here. They're gonna start prepping up the boat so that they can have their members leave. And so it's 7:45. So. I, I mean, I don't want to dox anybody if they came later early, but I just want you guys to know kind of like how soon maybe you can get those boats available. I don't see why not. I'm sure there's a way that you can get something at a certain time. These guys are about to hit the water too. Hey, what's up with the bikers, dude? The bikers, the bikers are late. The bikers, is 7.45 and the bikers didn't show up. What? Uh-oh, something's going on in the biker revolution world. I'm talking about regular bicycle cyclist guys. Oh boy, oh, this guy's pulling off. Oh no, no, it's gonna slam. Oh, boop, mm. Yep, told you. Damn it. See, he pulled the line towards him. Instead of letting the boat freely just go back and walk it back to the end. You see, this is, do you remember earlier in the video, if you were watching the whole video, how the other guy just, he put his hand up, his left hand up, and just basically let the boat come back without it hitting the dock? That's the way you do it. So you don't hit the boat and mess up the boat. Another big Mako coming out. 
It's a lot of boats, guys. And I'll tell you right now, it's this... It's not summer busy, but dude, let me tell you something. It's getting wicked busy at the boat ramp. I, I kind of got to get on the water and I, I just don't like being out on the water on the weekends, guys. It's just a chit show for me. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because I have the option of going down during the week. Yeah, but one of these days I'll go out there during the week, weekend. And I've guys, I've got videos at the sandbar on a weekend. If, if you haven't seen my three, three sandbar videos in one day video, you should. That's, those are old videos that I have on my channel. So yeah, you guys gotta check out the sandbar videos. I gotta go start messing around with the people at the sandbar again. Dude, I feel bad for those people that are still in their boat waiting for something, dude. What are they waiting for? Dude, just go back. These guys are about to leave. A hey, comment below the boats that you've seen at our boat ramp that you guys really, really like, right? Like it doesn't necessarily need to be in this video, but sometimes you guys get wind of certain boats here that you probably hadn't seen and it created a level of interest for you guys. Comment that boat below if you have, or if not, just comment the boat that you like from where you're from. It, it could be, I mean, Dude, I mean, there's boats from all over the world. I mean, I definitely want to start traveling a little bit more again to start showing all these other boat manufacturers and different boats uh, along the world. In the house! Hey, what? bro, you guys are leaving late to go fish? What happened, bro? Ah, there's always a guy. Hey, confess your sins. Always the one guy, bro. And next time you don't invite him, he gets mad. <laughs> there you go, guys. They're going to be punching each other later. Oh, because of me. I'm such a great American. Looks like these guys are going to be leaving now, too. If you can ever get that. Oh no, he's actually, he's actually tying the, the lines. I well, ain't going anywhere. Could you imagine they lost their keys too? That'll be wild. Those two strokes are 
working. Go along. Hey, your neighbor there has been there an hour and a half. What happened? He lost his keys? El otro bote? No? Ya vamos a dos horas casi. Yeah, I'm telling them guys. Listen, this is kind of like one of these videos that's almost like a podcast, right? I mean, it's not really a podcast, but we're not really talking shit like that. But, you know, it's visually stimulating. You see... You'll be on YouTube later, I guarantee it. You'll be on YouTube later. When you crash into the dock. Wait for it. Where are you guys going? Which one? Uh, Sands Key. Sands Key? All right, be safe out there, guys. Sands Key, that's the sandbar over here. Young people. Do we have a boat coming in? I hear a boat. No, no, they're, they're, they're leaving. That, that boat is... The launches. Look, look, they're... they're they're talking about the mullet. You see that? They're talking about the mullet. They're talking. No, come on, dude. Who, who? You gotta be kidding me. It's no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Aparte de San Yeah, yeah. You're doing so good. You're talking about the mullet, and then they put the music on, guys. Oh no! Yo pensaba que era usted con la música, bro. No eran ustedes, bro. Es este con la música, bro. Yo pensaba que era usted. Ya te iba a regañar, te iba a llamar un barcero y todo, bro. <laughs> Guys, hey, listen. Alfred Monten, you're making a scene as always because this guy right here, because of this guy right here. You guys find him right there, right there. I'm going to have to end the video. Alfred Monten, you're making a scene as always. The launches. Black Point Marina, we're out of here. Oh, music, it always destroys videos. Oh, no, it's. They were waiting on people to come, guys. I know, I know, I just came back. I just came back. I know the video just ended, but that's what happened. They didn't forget anything. The people hadn't arrived on time. Um, all right, well, luckily the boat ramp wasn't super crazy, right? Like busy-wise. <sighs> Do we continue? Yeah, you know what? We might as well continue. We might as well continue. We don't finish over here. We're gonna continue the morning, guys. We're gonna make this a super long video. I don't care. You ain't got nothing to do. You're cold, you're probably snowed in. Actually, you know what? There is some big storms that are happening from Canada and they're pushing their way down. So you guys always remind us that you're like four feet of snow. All right, all right. This one dude already turned off the music. I don't know.
Oh, the gates are open. Wait, look, 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 look. Wow. Isn't that wild? That is so... That is so a first. The gates. Not the gates, the doors. The doors are opening. That is crazy, dude. Hey, um, all right, well, listen up. I'm, listen, guys, it's going to be like this all day. Um, I can be here all day. There's going to be boats here all day coming in and out. There is a kind of like a slow period, but uh, I guess this was like a little bonus, right? Just, you know what? I, I, I just wanted to show this because um, these are scenarios that later in the day become a chicho because there's like a strong tell. Um, Oh, you have somebody all, all already directing traffic. But yes, this will be a hero that we're going to look for later. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. Listen, you see, remember how that dark early morning was and now these beautiful blue sky. And um, let me let me let me make this let me make this a little bit more interesting for you guys just so you can see. I got you, bro. Nah, the end. That's why I got you, bro. That's why I got you. Um, all right. So look, they're about to leave, but look, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. <coughs> look at look at the moon now, guys. Look at the moon now. That's the moon. That's the moon. And behind me, behind me is the sun. Isn't that isn't that wild? I know it's kind of surreal, but. It's like, uh, I don't know. All right, so listen, I still want to get this little boat get out of here because this is going to be the final, 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 final. I feel like Brady retiring, right? It's like, this is the last, 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 last time I retire. This is the last, 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 last clip. But um, I just want to show the chicho for later. Um, you see, this is where I start picking. Like there might be a chicho going on here too. Um, you you have to. Oh boy, this is gonna get good. Oh boy, oh boy, wait for it. What is this? Oh, those little boats are not easy to to bring in either. All right, all right. Damn, this this, this video still got longer. Oh my goodness. Oh shoot. All right, all right. He's, what is he? What is he doing? Oh, okay, he's putting on the lines. Oh man, this is gonna be a great video. Hold on, hold on. We're almost out of here, guys. We're almost out of here. We're almost at the flag again. The, the, this is a two flagger, and then we're out of here. I promise. A two flagger. Reminds me of a friend that used to say, ah, she's a double bagger. What are you talking about, bro? Why are you saying that? That's that's rude. That's wrong. That's mean. I was like, uh-oh. We got our first boat coming in? Oh, boy. Who's, who's there pulling over here? Come on, guy. Can you already leave, bro? Um, guys, I'm, I'm, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is, guys. And then you wonder, watch. Later, watch, watch, watch. Later, watch the chit show. Remember this? Remember this boat. Wait for it. Wow. This is the first boat that came back and it's not even eight in the morning and they're out like the trash on a Monday. That's it, they're done. And then a hero comes along. Defenders are another tell. Okay. Go! Dímelo! 
vas a salir en este show, tú vas a ver, tú vas a ver. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, oh, boy. Hold on, dude. Just when things are getting hot now, dude. Damn, bro. Do we have, we have to do our, we're gonna have to do a four hour video, bro. YouTube's not, not gonna want a four hour. Oh, wait a second. That's it. That's it. It's, oh, guys, we've come full circle. This is it. The bikers are here. The bikers are here. I told you, I told you. Didn't I tell you guys? Didn't I tell you guys? Wow. Dude, I told you guys. And now, now a little later, the, the, the huge peloton of guys. I guess they start somewhere else and then they, they, this is like one of their pit stops. And there's people that hate on them because, you know, why, why are you hogging up the road, all that crazy stuff. But um, nobody hates on you when you're in your poker runs on your boat. So let them breathe, bro. There they go. They're all coming. Look at them, look at them all back there. What the hell was that back there? Something just got swatted back there. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them all coming. Look at them, look at them, look at them. And the bikers are here. Every weekend, guys, early in the morning, Saturday and Sunday, every single day. They come over here, one of the two of them will go into the chitter. They release that because, you know, it's hard to push the turd when you're on a, sitting on a pole. <laughs> but it's not easy. They look at them all, they're just coming, guys. All right, I think we've come full circle, guys. I think we've come full circle. And um, I'm happy to announce that... Um, don't forget to don't forget to put that number that I said earlier in the video. If you missed it, that means you skipped it. There's a number that I said on this video that's going to get you a free hat. The first number, it's the number, I can't tell you the number, but it's in the video, guys. Whoever puts that in the comment section is the first person to win the hat. So, I don't know. Wait for it. Alfred Montana, guys, making a scene at the boat ramp. And... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the early morning launch edition. We're going to do more of this. Hey, we're out of here. Spring break. It's coming.